Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. This is your instructor Omar Khan and welcome to support and revision videos for O Levels Islamiyat 2058. Uh, today's video is about a topic, first revelation, which is from section number three of paper one, which is life and importance of Prophet, peace be upon him, life in Makkah. First revolution is one of the easiest and shortest questions of Cambridge examination. <clears throat> we will start with the background and we will talk about that how Prophet peace be upon him became antisocial and he distanced himself from the evils of society. And uh, this can also be referred as seclusion. He started uh, spending uh long hours without like away from people then he started meditating at cave hera cave hera was situated in mount noor food that he would take with him was barley porridge so he could save time roti niwale banana to wo sara time bacha ke so he would just meditate uh, this meditation was actually kuch log kehte hain ki prophet peace be upon him, would go there and offer prayer. But this meditation was basically about, uh, you know, trying to connect with God, pondering over the universe, that what is happening around me and what role I can play to reform my society. During this time, Hazrat Khadija supported him a lot by taking care of the family by herself and also providing necessities to profit peace be upon him and dropping off food and water at cave hera uh, with every single passing day the number of hours was increasing and profit peace be upon him wanted to spend maximum time alone so this is going to be the background paragraph then we will talk about actual incidents that it all started with dreams for approximately six months, Prophet, peace be upon him, would see a dream and it would become true like 100%. Then when he was 40 years old and it was 610 AD and these were ending nights of Ramadan, finally Prophet, peace be upon him, received the first revelation. He was meditating in Kevehra. Jibreel appeared and he ordered him to read. Prophet, peace be upon him, response was... I cannot read. And he hugged him. Then he repeated the same thing again. He ordered to read. Prophet peace be upon him said that I cannot. Okay. And this happened three times altogether. Finally, uh, Jibreel said that read in the name of your Lord who created, created man out of clot of congealed blood and all these five verses. And this is going to be a very important reference. I'm making three stars. You don't have to miss this reference. Technically, you can say that this reference is for two marks. If there is a 10 marker on first revelation and you do not give the re reference of first revelation, you can totally understand that. Uh, what are you doing? <clears throat> Big mistake. Okay. Prophet's quote. After Jibri left, Prophet peace upon him said that I felt that those verses were imprinted on my heart. And uh, he shared this with other uh, Khadija. Then when he came out of the cave, he saw Jibreel in his true form. He heard someone calling him. And when he looked at that towards that direction, he saw Jibreel in his true form, in his true gigantic form, that he, his wings were spread from east to west. And his body was so big that he couldn't see anything else but Jibreel. So moving forward, he came back and we will talk about aftermath. So he came back home and first of all, he asked Hazrat Khadija to cover him. Hazrat Khadija anha, covered him with one blanket, which was not enough. Then she covered him, provided him another blanket. Then he started feeling a bit better. Then Prophet, peace be upon him, told complete story to Hazrat Khadija mentioning all the details and then Hazrat Khadija 
comforted him by some nice words about prophet's character the way prophet peace be upon him uh, uh would take care of people he would take care of orphans widows and he would never disconnect with anyone he would respect the elders he would love children so prophet's character good qualities of prophet's character were described by hazrat khadija to comfort him that you are such a nice human being you are a beautiful human being that god will never waste you he must have a good plan for you and then the very next day prophet peace be upon him met with waraka bin nafil was cousin of hazrat khadija and he was a rightful christian scholar of bible and prophet peace be upon him told him his complete story and then he gave his remarks and a prediction in dono ke bhi reference aapko dene honge so all together kitne reference ho gaye isme four references references are very important if you write all this information and you give these four references number 1 five actually ये भी एक छोटा सा रेफरेंस है टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव इफ यू गिव दीज फाइव रेफरेंसेज देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी दैट योर आंसर विल नॉट गो इन लेवल फोर यू मस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ लेवल ऑफ मार्किंग सो हिज रिमार्क्स ऑफ वर्क एंड ऑफिल रिमार्क्स वर दैट दिस इज द सेम एंजल हु ब्रॉड रेवल्यूशन टू हजरत मूसा सलाम एंड ही प्रोडिक्टेड दैट पीपल हु लव यू टूडे दे विल टर्न अगेंस्ट यू and they will uh become your enemy and they will drive you out of makka i wish i was younger so i could live up to that time and i would defend you but sadly waraka bin nafil died after few after some time so this was first revelation as you could see that it was very short and very precise and as i said in the beginning this is the uh, shortest question of one of the shortest questions of cambridge examinations so thank you very much i have posted a lot of videos of life in makkah uh, some from life in medina a lot of videos of first islamic community i will keep posting more uh, support and revision videos for o levels islamia 2058 so i would recommend you all to subscribe this channel so whenever i upload something you get the notification and uh, stay tuned for more content thank you very much allah hafiz